today I'm coming to you to show you how I do my brows. Um, remember to subscribe below if you're not already subscribed to see more videos from me. And let's get to it. So first, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I like this one because the tip is really small. So you can make the hair-like strokes. So I'm just going to go in and follow my natural hair pattern. Now this is just one way that I do my brows. I do use shadow sometimes and I do use the brow dip by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills also. But when I'm in a rush, this is my go-to. The pencil is my go-to. And remember, any place that you fill in this not exactly how you want it, you can always go back in and fill it in. Um, clean it up with a concealer. I'm sorry. So, just going in and, f sorry, I'm just going to go in and do the hair like strokes. Okay, and then on the other side of the brow whiz, there's a spoolie. Just brush the hairs in an upward motion and... Okay, so you just go in with the spoolie and brush the hairs up and then over. And if you want yours to look just really natural like this, you can stop here and go in with the concealer. But I like mine's a little bit darker. So I go in with the CoverGirl Point Plus in the color Espresso and just fill in some more now this pencil is thicker on the end so it won't give you as defined of a line as the brow is but i like the color of it So I just go in and darken up the places that I want darker, which is usually with me, the tips. Now I always feel like I'm more heavy handed on one side. Y'all probably can hear my dog out there whining. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with the spoolie and blend out the front part of the brow. And with this, it just takes repetitiveness and you playing around and seeing exactly how it is that you want your brows to be done when you do them. Any light spots that I have, I go in and fill it back in a little bit. And 
And then I go in, I have this Sephora brush. Um, it's a concealer and foundation brush and I use this side to go with my concealer. I actually use a Gravitopian concealer palette. And this one is in warm. And as you can see, I hit the pan on this one. So um, if you don't have a concealer palette like that, you could use the NYX concealer palette, which I have over here somewhere. Probably got glitter all over it. But this is the NYX concealer palette in deep. And these are the colors that come with it. You can use this also, whatever concealer that you choose, or the LA Color Girls, which if you don't know what the LA Color Girls is, I have some over here. It's the Pro Concealer. So it's, it's just really your preference. So go in up underneath and clean up the line. And then I just blend it down. And then go in on the other side. And blend down. You can blend with a beauty blender too. Or like me, with your finger. If you see that water on there or it's glitter, darn it. I got glitter on my hands from that palette I picked up. And you use glitter and shimmer powder colors. They're everywhere. So at the top, I'm going to do a color this more of my skin complexion just so it blends in with my foundation better or you can use your foundation but the concealer usually is a little bit thicker see and then on the other eye I'll do the same thing Then you can just leave it like this. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna blend that out too. So I'm gonna get my little sponge over here. It's still kinda damp. I washed all my brushes last night. And 
they did not get as dry as I want them, so I'd rather use a damp sponge than a damp brush. And you just And that's it. This is my brows. So this is how I'm, I do mine. You don't have to have this set way of doing it. There's other ways to do it. If you're the type of person that wants to make sure if you rub across your brows, they don't come off, you can get clear mascara to use on top of it and brush it up the same way you did with the spoolie and it will keep them in place. It's like a way of setting them in. So I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe below, like, share, comment. Thank you for watching. Bye loves.